Hello everyone, welcome to Scaria.com. I'm Dr. Hena Khan and today we're going to discuss the symptomatic conditions of the conjunctiva. So there are a lot of clinical features that are revolving around the conjunctiva of the individual. It can be the reddish discolorations or it can be the achemotic conditions or the chemotic conditions that we're observing at the conjunctiva. What do these signs really indicate and how do we comprehend and the symptomatology is very important that we'll be discussing in this particular lecture over here. Foremostly, we'll be discussing the conjunctival hyperemia. So basically, there are a lot of conditions which result in the reddish uh, hyperemic conditions of the conjunctiva. Either it can be a transient phase or it can be a chronic and a recurrent condition in the individual. We'll be discussing the differential diagnosis along with the management guidelines over here. Moving on, we'll be discussing the chemotic factors of the conjunctiva. Chemosis is basically the arimatous condition of the conjunctiva, as well as it can be the inflammatory condition of the conjunctiva or any ongoing processes that result in the inflammation of the conjunctiva. We'd be listing down the factors that are responsible for this chemosis. And along with these factors, we'll be discussing what would be the differential diagnosis, um, what are the predisposing factors, how do we get to the definitive diagnosis, as well as we'd be discussing the uh, treatment guidelines uh, for this um, chemotic condition of the conjunctiva. Achemosis of conjunctiva is basically a term that is given to the subconjunctival hemorrhages. So these subconjunctival hemorrhages are quite a horrifying picture for the individual, but the reinsurance and the education of the patient is very important. This is basically a self-limiting condition, uh, which cannot really complicate in a lot of conditions, but still, uh, we have to investigate the individuals for the systemic conditions. For example, hypertension and diabetes mellitus can sometimes result in this kind of achemosis of conjunctiva. We'll be discussing the xerosis of conjunctiva. That is basically another name for the dryness of the conjunctiva. We have the parenchymatous xerosis of conjunctiva, uh, which is relating to the destructive causes, as well as we can be uh, discussing the xerosis as the prolonged exposure of the conjunctiva resulting in extreme dryness of the conjunctiva. Discoloration of the conjunctiva would be discussed here, which is basically including the red, blue, yellow, and even the brown pigmentation of the conjunctiva. What do these signs indicate? How do we interpret these signs? And how do we go about and investigate these cases of uh, discolorations of conjunctiva would be discussed over here. So there are a range of ophthalmopathies out there that are available at our website. So do watch these lectures. Thanks for watching scaria.com and get access to watch the complete lecture.